Hello and welcome to this demonstration of a brute force attack against Wi-Fi protected setup or WPS using the newly released Reaver tool. During this demonstration we're going to see how to perform the attack and then I'll discuss ways that you can protect against it and some gotchas that might come up while you're trying to protect yourself against it. Before we get started, a little bit of house cleaning. For the wireless router, I'm using a Linksys WRT54G2, which is WPS capable. I've got a WPA2 pre-shared key installed, and I'm using a D-Link USB adapter. So to get started, let's just bring up the router's admin page. We can see that I've got WPS turned on. We can look and see a couple other things, like my SSID and a little bit above that we can see the pin which will come in handy in a few moments. The Reaver tool requires a monitor mode adapter. So what I'm doing now is I'm just locating my actual wireless adapter and I'm going to use Airmon NG to start up a monitor mode adapter. There we go. We take a look, we should have Mon Zero. Excellent. So before we can start attacking a network, we have to take a look at the air and see what's available. There will be a couple other networks here which I'm kind of blurring out. And there it is, our specific network that we're going to be working with today. We can see the SSID which is Linksys. We can see that it's using a pre-shared key, that it's on channel 6, and the BSSID which is the MAC address. And we're going to copy this because it's going to come in handy in a second. Now that we've identified the network we want to run the tool against, let's go ahead and launch Reaver. So we can see I'm using the Mon Zero interface that I had just created. I'm going to put in the BSSID of our Linksys wireless router, tell it to run on channel 6, and tell it the SSID, which is Linksys. And lastly, I'm going to put a delay of 15 seconds between each guess, just because this router is particularly old and it tends to choke if I go much faster. Okay, so the tool is now running. We can see that it switched to channel 6. It's going to associate with my Linksys router. And then it's going to start guessing pins. So we'll let it do a couple of guesses and then I'll probably stop the tool. So there we can see trying pin and a string of numbers. It'll wait the delay of 15 seconds and then it'll try another pin. Okay, and there's the second pin. And it'll just continue to try and try and try over and over again. Now this attack normally takes four to ten hours according to the Reaver documentation. But let's just fast forward for the sake of this video. I'm going to rerun the tool with a different flag that just tells it which pin to try. So it'll simulate what happens when it actually would have guessed this particular pin which if you recall from earlier was the pin on the wireless router. So we'll launch the tool and then let's look at the results. Okay, trying pin, there it is. So we can see the WPS pin and then it was able to very quickly, once it got the correct pin, determine what the pre-shared key was even though it was a very long string. So that's how the tool works and that's how the Reaver attack works. The obvious way to protect yourself or try to protect yourself from this type of attack is to try and disable WPS on your wireless router which may or may not be possible. In this case the only option I have is to try and switch to manual on this particular wireless router which would seem to indicate that I'm turning off WPS but we'll find out that that's not actually the case. Some routers you 
simply can't turn it off. Others you can. Okay, so I'll save my settings here. And there's a an easy way to kind of verify whether or not WPS is running. And that's to do a frame capture and look at the beacons. So I'm going to look at two types of beacons that will indicate whether WPS is on. So the first one is WPS configured. Okay, so we'll drill down and have a quick look here at a vendor specific tag. Okay, Wi-Fi protected, protected setup state configured. The fact that this is even present indicates that WPS is running on the wireless router. So we'll close this and look at another frame you might see if it's running. Okay, same thing. Wi-Fi protected state, setup state not configured. If either of those two frames are present, WPS is running on your router. So those are frame captures that I had uh, recorded prior to this demonstration. So we saw that I attempted to turn off WPS on the Linksys router. So let's go ahead and recapture some beacons from it now and see whether either of those two frame tags are present. Okay, so we've captured a bunch of beacons here, which is good, that should be enough. There we've got a capture file. So we'll open it up in Wireshark and see if the WPS tag is present. Okay, so we'll just drill down, find a beacon, expand the window a bit. Okay, and it's present WPS, Wi-Fi protected setup state configured, which means WPS is still on. So the solution again is to try and disable WPS. You might have to factory reset some routers. Some routers like this particular one, you won't be able to turn it off at all. It's up to you what you want to do from there. So this concludes the WPS brute force demonstration and brief little discussion about how to protect against it. Thanks for watching.